everyone. I'm here with my friend and fellow Rotarian, Art Dobson, and um, I'm Beth Cassavant. I'm this year's Rotary president, and Art and I are here to talk a little bit about uh, a fundraiser that the Rotary Club is going to be holding um, in a couple of weeks. On Sunday, October 16th, we'll be holding our fall recycling fundraiser. Um, it's open to the whole community. It's at Town Hall and we're holding it from 9 a.m. until noon. It's a drive-through event where people can drop off um, items that they would like to recycle that are you know, hard to throw away or that shouldn't go into people's trash. Um, there's a flyer that we um, will have shown on screen but also can be found at the library, uh, also online. The town has posted it for us on the uh, DPW's website. It's also on our Shrewsbury Rotary uh, website at um, I think it's shrewsburyrotary.org. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about some of the things that we're going to accept mm. uh, at the recycling event and some of the things that we can't accept. Uh, so basically the the rule of thumb is anything with a cord mm -hmm. uh, we pretty much take um, and it's forty dollars for a car load so if people bring you know, a, a pickup truck, we might charge a little bit more, but for your basic car, um, it's about $40. If you only have a couple of items, like mm -hmm. at my house right now, I know I have a toaster that has to be uh, brought and it'll just be like $5, let's mm -hmm. say for the toaster. Um, but then there are some other things that are more difficult to recycle and those we have to charge an additional fee for. And that's not, because we want to, it's because we have to, because that's what the recycling company that we work with charges us in order to um, take these items away. And part of this fundraiser isn't so much just uh, to raise money for the Rotary Club, which of course we do and we're glad to do, and uh, but it's also to keep these kinds of items out of the landfill, which is a huge benefit uh, to the environment and also to the town because we do pay by the ton of trash that's thrown away so any of these things that we can keep out of the trash stream keeps the, the cost of our um, solid waste program down for everybody who lives here in town so some of the things are televisions uh, those are an additional charge at 45 dollars uh, people can bring powered yard equipment as long as they drain all the fluid out and there's an additional charge of 25 dollars per piece any sort of computer monitors or flat screen monitors are 25 dollars and then computer or stereo speakers are 20. Any vacuum cleaners are 20. Car seats are $25 to recycle. And then appliances with Freon have an additional charge depending on the size. So a full refrigerator or a full freezer is 25. And then anything small like an AC unit or de dehumidifier or a dorm fridge mm -hmm. would only be 20. And of course, there's the whole long list of things that we don't mm -hmm. accept. Mm -hmm. Uh, and of course, um, the one that we hear all the time, I know my contact information is on the flyer, and so I do get a lot of questions from people. Styrofoam is one thing that's so hard um, to recycle, and we are unable to accept any styrofoam or wood or paper. Um, no light bulbs, no fluids of any kind, no garden hoses, no upholstered furniture or mattresses, no ceramics, bricks, stones, glass, board games, or plastics. And we do note that there's a book bin um, right there at the senior center where people can donate books if they are looking to get rid of some books. Uh, but there is a really long list of things that we do accept, everything from phones and printers and electrical equipment to bicycles and batteries and um, you know any sort of wires. Uh, and if you're anything like me, I have a bag of wires at home of AirPods that no longer work and um, charging cables that the dog has chewed through and no longer work and sure. those kinds of things don't belong in the trash and if someone wanted to just bring a bag of batteries um, the lithium-ion batteries that really shouldn't be placed mm -hmm. in the trash we accept those things for a low single item fee um, so again when you show up at the event you can expect to be greeted by members of our club mm -hmm. um, happy to see people and ready to accept um, your whole car load of junk and uh, turn it into things that we can use um, to do good things in the community. And right. maybe you can talk a little bit, Art, about what we do with I'm, the funds that we raise. I'd be glad to. Uh, first of all, I have a question. 
Uh, is this just for shoes to you? That is a really good question. No, anybody can come uh, yeah. and recycle. It's for the whole community. So anyone from outside of Shrewsbury is welcome to right. come and drop things right. off. Good. Mm -hmm. good question. Thank you. Uh, getting to what we do, uh, people often ask us what we do, and we really don't pat ourselves on the shoulder that we're, we're so proud. We, do, we are proud. But we don't want to broadcast that to everyone. It's not, we're humble. We're very humble. Uh, our main uh, thing in a, is service above self. Uh, everything is service above self. Now there's 35,000 rotary clubs in the world and hundreds of countries in the world. There's a million four hundred thousand members of the rotary club. And each club goes with that same Logan service by itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, every club does something for the community, for the state, for their country. And it's, it's what's so nice about the Rotary. That's why I love being here in the Rotary Club. You've been a Rotarian for how many years? 42 years 42 now. years. Yes, that's, you would... Just a baby at that time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you weren't I would, No, I was, I was probably eight years old when you joined uh, the Rotary uh, Club. Yeah, that was a long time ago. It sure was. Right. That's a lot of service above self. Well, I'm so happy I'm still here to talk about it because it's been a wonderful, wonderful, uh, you know, not a career, but a thing that I can, I can be with almost every week and think about it, make new friends. Travel a lot around the world, and which I have been being different Rotary people, and and it's just been a marvel experience. It's a passion, right? It's like it your sure passion. Is. Sure is. Now, what we do locally, I'll start off with that. We we help uh, seniors uh, on on Shrewsbury Street. The food pantry. The food pantry. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Shrewsbury Youth the Family Services. Uh, we help. Uh, with Hannah Kane's golf tournament. Mm -hmm. You're one of the prime people there. Uh, let's see what else we do. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the program where we were donating grocery card, grocery store gift cards to veterans. Oh, yes. That was a big yes. one. Yes. Uh, we donated, uh, I think, $2,500 to uh, Justin Sousa, who is a veterans agent in Shrewsbury, to, uh, and I bought 50 Fifty dollar gifts that we had for stop and shop, mm -hmm. and he was just delighted. He was just overwhelmed yeah. that we would do that. I said, he said, well, I said, he said, what veterans choose be? I said, no veterans that you're responsible for, which is, uh, I think, choose be Westboro, Northboro, right. and Grafton. And I think I, that's. I, his, I believe you're right. That's mm -hmm. his uh, the district, territory right. the district. And he, he said he would use them very wisely, and he knows who needs the uh, certificates. Mm -hmm. So that was that was great. And uh, we uh, should be educational foundation uh, literacy day at the, we have every year. Uh, we read to the second grade kids. It's a great experience, and uh, so many more things that we do. The fridge in front of the uh, senior center now, right. that was sponsored by the Rotary Club. Right. And uh, it, it's been so successful. I think there's 800 names, people that are... Sure, it's all run through a Facebook group. I, it's between eight and 900 members yeah. now yeah, it's in just the amazing. Facebook group. It's amazing how a town like Shrewsbury is supposed to be very affluent, that so many people are in need mm -hmm. of food and different things. And, right. they, and they just come up to the senior center, open the fr fridge door, and take whatever they want. Right. And no one's going to say anything. No, no cameras to take the no pictures. No cameras, no. Right. It's and uh, also, on the other hand, many people can come to the fridge and put things in the fridge. Mm -hmm. and, and there's also a, a, a shelving for non-refrigerated products. Right, a pantry. Yeah, with a pantry. So... It works out beautifully. It does, and that was our um, 
that was our service project from last year. We did that as a club um, under the direction of Sandy Burgers, who was our past president. Um, she was so passionate about getting that fridge set up for the people in yeah. this town. And I know Worcester has, I think, five or six of them. Right. Northboro has one. And, and now we have one here in Shrewsbury. Yeah, and it's, it's really amazing to see um, just how the communities embraced it. Mm-hmm. I know we um, we had a table at Spirit of Shrewsbury, yes. and, and you were there with yeah. us. Um, right. We had a basket out and collected some non-perishable donations of food. Some people dropped off um, COVID tests, rapid tests. So, mm-hmm. I mean, there's a, a variety of things that you can use the community fridge for. Um, leaving things that people might need. I know a Girl Scout troop recently put together um, birthday like kits. So it was yeah. like cake mix and mm-hmm. frosting and candles. And, and, nice. and then you would take mm-hmm. that and, and be able to make a birthday cake mm-hmm. for someone who's having a birthday. And we, you know, just a way to really support people. It's certainly not ever going to replace the food pantry, <clears> but I do see people using the fridge and dropping off at the fridge I frequently. Do too. It's, mm-hmm. it's very nice. Yeah, and we get some nice donations every week mm-hmm. from uh, Wegmans and from Trader Joe's. Right. And that's those are all picked up by volunteers. Mm-hmm. There's people who every week commit to going and getting those donations and bringing them to the fridge and dropping mm-hmm. them off. And the more people that get involved with it, the better. Absolutely. Um, so that, again, it's a Facebook group. It's called Shrewsbury Community Fridge. You know, Look for it on mm-hmm. Facebook, like it on Facebook. Mm-hmm. We always could use the help. Right. And one problem I think uh, that we we talk about is please don't bring anything out of date. That is true, and nothing in glass containers. And nothing dented. Just right. uh, just make it. Yeah. What it is. It's very important. If you wouldn't eat it, <clears throat> right? Right. Exactly. Then you shouldn't bring it exactly. if it's if it's expired. The other thing I got a call. Um, so we're really fortunate to have it located on town property, mm-hmm. right outside the senior center. It's like kind of to the left of the building. Um, but we have had uh, some situations where people just, and I know that they, you know, they're trying to leave things that they think people could use, but leaving things outside of the fridge, um, like clothing or mm-hmm. housewares or Tupperwares, things of that nature. And mm-hmm. we really have to um, ask people not to leave things outside of the fridge that aren't, you know, food products right. or non-perishable items because those they end up getting thrown away, right. um, and so they're really not helping and anybody and just can trip over creating them. work. Yeah for the town, um, mm-hmm. so that's always a good reminder. Um, yeah, so it's a well, good And summer. also, uh, talking about what we do, and we have done, as you, people probably know, we're very interested in Ukraine, mm-hmm. as most, most people are, and helping Ukraine, uh, humanitarian-wise, nothing about guns or balls or anything. Uh, we were very involved in Ukraine because it goes back to 1992, where we were one of the first clubs helping to form the first Rotary Club in Kiev, Ukraine. And when you say we, you really mean you and our Shrewsbury Rotary Club. That's correct. Um, I just building was, that bridge, was helping too, and uh, that was the first club after 70 years of not having a club, mm-hmm. because when Russia came in. They stopped all clubs. So this was the first club, and now there are 62 clubs in Ukraine, and they're all working together, humanitarian-wise, getting things from all over the world to help to help everyone, the hospitals and mm-hmm. doctors. And, and the people so, that are displaced from their homes yeah, also, with correct. food and medical supplies. Yeah, and Absolutely. And I know that you've been really active, you and uh, Roy Balfour, but, another member of our club. Yeah. And, in working on getting those disaster right. relief grants and, right. and getting that funding. It's been, it's been great trying to do that. Mm-hmm. And fortunately, we've been successful in a lot of things. Yeah. I, I, you know, you make me think of um, another mm. um, initiative that, that Rotary International participates in, and that's the eradication of polio. And yes. I, you know, when I first joined the club five years ago, we would collect happy dollars and knowing that that was a a donation, right? Mm -hmm. So we would go around the table at the beginning of our meeting and say something that we're thankful or happy about. And then all that money goes to Polio Plus Mm -hmm. and it gets matched two to one by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And at that time I was like, who gets polio anymore? Mm -hmm. But recently we're seeing that even in in this country, yeah, New York's, yeah, that the polio is coming back. Uh, and that it's not completely eradicated mm. even here because there's pockets mm. of unvaccinated right. people um, that are still susceptible to this terrible mm. disease. Mm. And so the work 
of the Rotary Club continues, um, vaccinating not just other countries around the world, but right here at home. Right, exactly. A lot of people call me up and ask me, how do you join the Rotary Club? Is mm -hmm. it a political or is it religious? Do you have to be or, a business owner? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are a Freemason or, a, <laughs> you know, a KSC? I said, no, nothing like that. We're non-sectarian. Uh, everything is just on friendship of everyone. No mm -hmm. one knows how kids, who is anybody's right. religion is or background yep. or anything. It's so, completely uh, yeah. no discussion of yeah. politics or um, religion. It's just uh, it's a it's a group of people who truly value service and helping others, and especially mm -hmm. um, most of what we do is focused very specifically yeah. on Shrewsbury and helping people right here sure. in Shrewsbury just mm -hmm. have better lives. Now you are president this, this year. year. Yeah, it's always a one year. Okay. Yep. So this is my year, um, and it's 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 been good so far. It has. Um, <laughs> so the past two years, right? We had one year that was completely <clears throat> on Zoom, and then another year that was kind of a mix. So yeah. I've, I'm feeling pretty lucky because mm -hmm. we've been in person, uh, meeting at the post office pub uh, mm -hmm. regularly, mm -hmm. and then just using Zoom for our board sure. meetings. Uh, so having that 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 ability to kind of get together and have a meal has been really nice. If somebody wants to join or is interested in joining, can they call you up? Or? They can call me. They can uh, find me on Facebook. Uh, they can visit our website to find information about who to contact. Mm -hmm. And again, that's uh, shrewsburyrotary.org. Uh, we also have a Facebook page where you can message uh, using Facebook Messenger, and you'll get a reply pretty quickly. Um, I, I don't think my uh, contact information is difficult to find. It's uh, on this flyer, but I could also be reached at bethcassivan at gmail.com and always happy to talk with people about Rotary. When we were at Spirit of Shrewsbury, I think eight people uh, signed up for more information oh, really good, about Rotary. Yeah, and, and even if people aren't able to make our meetings, which are Mondays, um, the second, no, the, the first and the third Monday, of mm -hmm. the month in person at noontime, um, you know, you can still join the club right. and participate in some of our service projects or, um, you know, sort of help out and, and start to understand a little bit more of what mm -hmm. Rotary is all about. And one, once I've had volunteering things, it, it'll get to them and I'll say, wow. <laughs> They'll want to keep going. They want to keep going, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So um, I did want to just touch on one other fundraiser. Mm -hmm. um, your daughter, Kathy, mm -hmm. uh, came to installation, and installation is when um, the new board is sworn in. And she was just so moved by our club and mm -hmm. the warmth and our willingness to do things for the community that she also wanted to help out and support us. And so, uh, again, hopefully you're seeing on screen uh, a flyer for an October fundraiser, which is very pretty. Um, mm -hmm. Kathy is a massage therapist. And she, during the month of October, anyone who books a 60-minute massage with her at Peaceful Creations Wellness Center in Shrewsbury, um, $10 will be donated to our club. If you just mentioned that, um, you know, you heard about the Rotary fundraiser and mm -hmm. wanted to participate, and um, she can be reached at peacefulcreations333.com, or you can call or text Kathy to book an appointment at 774 287 Eight five four four, and again, this information is on our Rotary Facebook mm -hmm. page, and um, I shared it to our community pages in Shrewsbury and on my fun. own personal page uh, on Facebook, hoping that you know more people see this. But this is just really um, a nice way mm -hmm. to give back to the club, and so gl grateful to your daughter for doing this. Yeah. Well, she's very happy doing it. <laughs> looking forward to it, actually. Yes, I know. It's it's great. Even if everybody in the Rotary Club goes and gets a massage, right? That's she a, does a great job. I so, bet she does. You know. <laughs> You're very lucky to have that. <laughs> so let's see. Anything else we want to talk about? Um, we did a recent service project um, in September where we uh, did a mobile food pack at um, St. George's Church. And again, like not religious. This is just the location mm. Uh, where this event takes place and it's a mobile food pack meaning that they they move from place to place and we had a team of uh, two teams of four or, or five people who mm -hmm. put together packages of food that get shipped to different countries where 
malnutrition and um, not being able to know where your next meal is coming from is a real mm. um, serious threat to the health and well-being of the people who live there. Um, so you put together these uh, packs and they're, they're rice and soy pr- and then dehydrated vegetables and then a scoop of like vitamins or mm. some kind of, mm. like I have no idea. And then mm. I, I guess they added water to it when yeah. it goes gets to where they're going and they can make some sort of a, but mm. this bag is so what someone would eat for an entire day. And you think about, you know, we just finished having lunch today at the post office pub with generous mm. portions of food. And, mm-hmm. and you think that, you know, here we are sending off this pack um, and this is what someone's going to eat for the day. Uh, but it was a really, it was a really fun time. Like it's, it's a really fun event. They play great music and kind of get you going. And it, they, mm-hmm. it's a, it's, um, it's like a contest, right? To see which, which group can pack the most boxes. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it's, it's a lot of fun and you kind of forget that you're working because mm-hmm. um, you are on your feet for the full two hours. Like so chill. it does get tiring yeah. and you got the hairnet on because mm-hmm. you can't, and you, you know, some people were wearing masks as well because of COVID. So it's not necessarily the most comfortable, but that was really fun that we did this year together. Um, and looking forward, of course, to our recycling day and then hopefully being at the Yuletide market that the Shrewsbury Town Center mm-hmm. Association is putting on on um, December 3rd, Saturday, December 3rd. Mm-hmm. Uh, where we'll be selling, hopefully selling our mulled wine again, which yeah. has been a big hit. Big hit. Uh, the past, yeah. I want to say we've done it three times? Three? Three times. I think it's three times, yeah. yeah. This will be the third time. Um, so again, looking forward to you're, that. You're on that committee too, I think. <laughs> I don't think you get to not be on the committee when you're the president. I think yeah. you're on all the committees. Yeah. Um, and then our service project this year is creating emergency preparedness kits mm-hmm. um, for yes. local organizations. Yes. And that's... And the veterans are looking forward to that. Yep. So yeah. that'll be... I think we'll make you 100. We're going to be making 100 mm-hmm. and giving 25 to um, four different organizations, mm-hmm. the veterans being one of them. Uh, Shrewsbury mm-hmm. Council on Aging will take 25 and distribute them to people that they think could use them. Mm-hmm. Um, Shrewsbury Youth and Family Services will do the same. And then St. Anne's Food mm-hmm. Pantry will also do that. Um, you think about what just happened in Florida... Um, I mean, that's a Amazing. whole different story, mm-hmm. right? I mean, there you need to have the the go bag, basically, the documents that you want to have on you in case you have to leave your home in yeah, a hurry. Exactly. What are those important papers mm-hmm. that you would need? And then the kit that we're creating would be if you were needing to shelter in place in your home, no. um, the kinds of things that you would want if you were without power for an extended period of time and, mm-hmm. and, and needed to just... Stay That's safe. Fantastic. Because mm-hmm. I know you're supposed to have them, but no one really does. No, Maybe some people true. do, but I, I do not. Well, I figure I'm in my yeah. house. I'll be fine. We, we've been very <laughs> fortunate in New England. Mm-hmm, for the sure. The weather was. It's it just, you turn on the TV, there's always problems in Oregon, California, right. Florida, in the and South. Texas. It's terrible. Right. We get the snowstorms, but. Those don't seem to be... That's part of New England. Exactly, exactly. Um, So again, we we really do hope that people come down to the town hall on Sunday, October 16th, between 9 and noon. We purposely picked this time because the Patriots play at 1. We didn't want to interfere with anyone's football plans, so we were hoping to be able Mm -hmm. to get this done in the morning. Um, It's a great opportunity with a nice fall Mm -hmm. weather. You're cleaning out garages and sheds. And I know even at home, I just... I just keep a pile of the kinds of things that are broken. Um, like I have a printer right now that's leaking ink out the back mm-hmm. of it. And I just right. said, we're just going to run it until sure. October 16th. And then I'll bring it and, and, and get rid of it at this mm-hmm. event. Um, cause once people get there, it's so convenient because it, the, the stuff is taken out of their car. That's a good point, yeah. As soon as they come in mm-hmm. and someone's there to say hello, where the Rotary Club and so forth. Right. And they look in the car, pay them a few dollars, go to, to 30 feet away, and the car's unloaded for them. Right. It's it's a, like, then they run away. Exactly. So it's, 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 uh, it's very, very easy, painless. Very painless. Right. So, so you drive right into town hall, drive around the back, mm-hmm. and then we unload everything for you with our volunteers. Yeah, exactly. and, and then you're just on your way. Um, we don't. Uh, accept credit cards, unfortunately, but mm-hmm. we do accept cash, of course, and checks made payable to the Shrewsbury Rotary Club. Mm-hmm. And um, hope to see lots of people Good. that day. Do you think? Do we do we cover it all? I think so. <laughs>
Beth, you always have a thing. That's <laughs> I try. Our, I try. <laughs> but thanks so much for being here today. Yeah, to, my pleasure. We were supposed to have a few more members, but um, you know, it's just uh, COVID, COVID a little co there. some illnesses, some COVID. Right. So we we're here uh, representing the Rotary Club, and we would love to to see a lot of people on that on October sixteenth. And please reach out if you have any questions. Again, my email is bethcassavant at gmail .com. And I can be reached at 508-641-8174. My information is on the flyer. And I would also, before we wrap up, like to thank um, Don Musial and Win Waste Innovations for their continued oh, yes. sponsorship Excellent. of our two um, recycling fundraising yeah. events. So we do hold one in the spring and one in the fall. Right. Uh, and again, because it keeps these things out of the landfill where they do not belong. and mm -hmm. And so that's been great that Don's Excellent. been a good partner. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.